If you haven't seen, my third cookbook has come out. This is Cooking the Books Quarter 2, 2023. It took a very long time for me to finish this, but it's available right now. The link is down below. It's on Amazon. This one is on Kindle Unlimited for now, as well as the first quarter cookbook. You can also join my Patreon and get them for free as a digital book. That's five bucks a month. It's much appreciated. Today, I'm going to be making three different appetizers from the Hooters menu. Hooters is known for wings, beer, and bustiness, but the real request was for the buffalo shrimp. Shout out to Skylar from my Patreon community for this one. This was a real treat and fun to make. If we're talking Hooters, we're talking about buffalo sauce. And from everything I've seen, they use a compound butter when they're cooking, which is good because it's easy to make. Prick up a half pound of unsalted butter into a food processor. You can also just use softened butter as well, but I didn't have that kind of foresight. Next up, we'll want to add about a half cup of hot sauce. Use whatever you want. I went with something very mild, but still delicious. And since we used unsalted butter, we'll want to season it up a bit. Feel free to use salt, but I went with a half teaspoon of smokestack. If you're using a food processor, pulse this a few times to get it started. Then blend on low until everything is fully incorporated. If you're using softened butter, you should just be able to fork your butter into submission. No matter how you choose to make this, just make sure it looks something close to this. We don't need this right now, but it can be made ahead of time. Just make sure people don't know how delicious it is, so they don't use it on all of their cauliflower wings. If you see cauliflower wings sitting around, point at them and say that they're coming right for you. You now have free reign to tackle the table and dispose of these nightmarish abominations. Since you've likely followed this plan of literal attack, you'll need to make something that's actually delicious. Chicken wings. I went with about one pound of already cut chicken wings, ensuring to remove its little diaper. And again, I went with another banger of a seasoning, steak dust. I mean, you can just use some normal salt or even buttermilk brine, but this is basically a cheat code for really good food. I added in about one teaspoon of this and coated all the chicken well. Set this aside for at least 30 minutes and up to four hours to let that dust penetrate. While I was waiting on the chicken, I added two pounds of animal fat to a pot with the goal of getting it to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I used a pork rind to tell me when it's ready, but you can use a thermometer. Since this isn't a deep fryer, we want to cook everything in batches. Carefully add your wings to the boiling hot oil of skin melting. Once they're in, let them fry, tossing occasionally for about 9 to 10 minutes. You can use a thermometer to make sure that they're at 165 degrees Fahrenheit internal. Now, grab a bowl with a good amount of your buffalo butter and place the hot wings directly into the sauce. Give those a shake and a toss until the butter melts completely. For the fried pickles, the story changes a little because we need some sort of coating on the outside. Today, I have my trusty dredging station of whisked eggs and ground pork rinds. For the pickles, find some of the best that you can find at your store, or make your own. I don't know Cleveland, nor have I been to his kitchen, but these will work just fine. Start by squeezing some of the pickle juice out before adding them to your eggs. Let the excess drip off a little, and then toss them in your pork rinds. It's not a perfect method, but we're shooting for them to look like this. Here's a better look at that wrist action for those of you that really wanted it. Once they're breaded, place them onto a plate or a parchment lined pan, and now we can bring them over to our hot oil and carefully toss them in. I'm going to be honest, I cooked these last so I was tired of frying things. Please cook these in batches as well until they're nice and golden brown. It'll only take about three minutes for this to happen if done in batches. I am certain that the outcome will look a bit better than what I've created here, but these were still delicious. Let these drain on a paper towel lined plate and serve. And here's the real reason why this video exists. Someone requested Hooters Buffalo Shrimp and I listened. I did not know much about this appetizer, but I saw it and knew it was going to be f***ing delicious. The process is going to be the exact same as the pickles, but with shrimp instead. Drop a tell on shrimp into some egg, let the excess drip, then toss it in your pork rind crumbs. It should look like this. I think the non-smooth surface of the shrimp helped the pork rind stick better. Set your body to speed slash duration of 4000% and bread the rest of these little shrimps. Again, set them onto a parchment light baking sheet and bring them over to that skin melting oil. Just like the rest of the things we fried, you'll want to cook these in batches. The shrimp should only take a few minutes to cook at most and should be golden brown delicious. Just like with the wings, have some of that sauce ready to toss that hot shrimp in. I'll give you a moment to stare into the glistening sauce. Wow, oh yeah, Ooh. Okay, your moment's up and these look delicious. I've tasted all of this already and need everything to get plated up stat. Now, I know what you're thinking. There's no ranch or buffalo sauce. I was short on time, but I do have a great ranch recipe. You can click the card above right now to get that recipe. If you want it to be a blue cheese sauce, simply whisk in crumbles of blue cheese. As for this taste test, let me tell you, I'd be hard pressed to tell the difference in pork rind crumbs compared to real bread crumbs. Frying them in lard not only gave them a great crunch, but it also helped retain the crunch even when being tossed in a sauce. The best part about this is that I didn't feel like a bloated pile of human after eating it. 